Okay, in this video I'm going to continue on with exercise 2C of the book Fundamental Applied Mathematics. We're on page number 62. The question we're going to do is number 23. And it reads, a passenger train travelling at 80 metres per second is 1500 metres behind a goods train travelling at 30 metres per second. And we're asked to find uh, at what rate must the passenger train decelerate to avoid a crash. Now, to be honest, I find the wording in this very strange. Uh, I've actually had a look at this prior to doing this video. And the answer I'm, not get, I'm getting is not the same as the one in the book. So, I don't know really what to suggest to you. So what I'm going to say is, I'm going to solve the question as the way I read it. And you can make you can make what you like of it. Maybe perhaps ask your teacher if I've got the reading wrong or whatever. Okay, so I, I say from the outset, this question may be wrong or might be reading it incorrectly. But it's worth having a look either way. So we have a passenger train and we have a goods train, like that. Right, I'll apply the usual UVEST formulae. Now, in the question, we're not told of any acceleration. So, the, good, the passenger train starts at 80 and finishes at 80, and it's got zero. Like that. Now, remember, if something overtakes, so say that's, the, well, say they're overtaking, there's the goods train, there's the passenger train. If they overtake, the time taken is the same. That's the same for every overtaking question. Now, the distance isn't the same because, look, they didn't start at the same position. The difference is 1,500 meters. So, when they collide, the passenger train's distance is greater than the goods train's by 1,500 meters. So that's important. So we'll say that V is equal to U. Well, that's actually no good. We can't do anything here with the acceleration. So we'll use the distance. S is equal to UT plus a half AT squared, and since A is equal to zero, S is equal to 80 T, and here S is equal to 30 T, for the same reason. So we know that the distance, now remember, S1 minus 1500 is equal to S2, because the passenger train will have traveled 1500 meters more than the goods train. So 80t minus 1500 is equal to 30t and we have 50t is equal to 1500 t is equal to 30 seconds so what I was saying is that after 30 seconds the passenger train will have caught up with the goods train now the next thing is what does the question want us to do it says at what rate should it slow down should it slow down to rest or should it slow down to the same speed as the goods train? The answer is I don't know. So I'm going to do both. So I'm going to say this is, I'm going to say P1 is where it slows down to rest, and P2 is where it slows down to the same speed as the goods train. So we'll do this. This is part two of the question. So the time taken is 30 seconds, and in that 30 seconds, we, we either want the, the train to slow down to, uh, to in this case, or P1's case, zero meters per second, or in P2's case, 30. And we don't know the acceleration, so I'm going to call it A. Remember again, make sure you do not call it minus A. For example, if A was equal to minus 8 meters per second squared, and for some reason in your question you had something, 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 minus A, then you plug in minus, minus 8, and you'll get plus 8, which is incorrect. So always leave your, your variables as plus and that will avoid that problem. So, the distance travelled here, we want to get the acceleration, we'll say, so V is equal to U plus AT, this is for P1, so 80, wrong, 0 is equal to minus 80 plus 30A, therefore A is equal to minus 8 over 3 meters per second squared, and for P2, we have 30, is equal to 80 minus 30a and this time a is equal to minus 5 over 3 meters per second squared. Now neither of those answers actually agree with what's in the book so we're saying that if the train decelerates at minus 8 over 3 meters per second squared it'll come to rest before it collides, just before it collides with the goods train and if it decelerates at minus 5 over 3 meters per second squared it'll come, it'll be moving at the exact same speed as the, as the goods train just before it collides with it. 
and therefore it won't collide. So look, that's my reading of the question. It was worth a look, I hope. Either way, thanks for watching. Please pass it on to your friends and subscribe to my channel.